Okay, so here's our manually tracked scene in Maya. This is pretty much how it is uh, once it's exported from Matchmover. And you can see that we're already looking through the IZ camera, so this is uh, basically playing out how it's, um, how it's going to be. And if we draw a selection box around the tops of these doors, you can see that there are our, our points, and they, they match up uh, pretty perfectly with the corners of these doors. And also, if we um, if we draw a selection box around this point, you can see that we have this point here is also matching up. Uh, now, this means that if we wanted to, we could come in here and we could actually uh, put in geometry, which matches up with the geometry in our scene, uh, and uh, more or less build a portion of this scene um, in Maya and uh, use that for our animation. And um, you can see also that there's our grand plane there with our origin point of tracker four, and so um, we can uh, we can build up our scene based on these um, uh, these tracking points that we have. So that's what I'm going to attempt to do now. And um, what I'll do is I'll just drag a selection box around this door here. Now I'll start with this door because uh, all four corners of this door are in fact uh, tracked out. Uh, there are three around this door, but uh, we'll start with the four here. Now I'm just going to uh, change panels, or rather change cameras to the perspective camera, and I'll just frame in on those four, um, uh, those four tracking points, or those four locators, now that we're in Maya. And uh, what I might do is I'll just uh, create a new polygon plane. And I'm going to uh, place it somewhere around there. Uh, with the polygon plane selected, I'm just going to let's just switch to scale and I'll scale this up. Uh, now I just want this polygon plane to be in the place where this door is. So I'll go to component mode. And I will select the uh, the corner um, uh, vertex here. I'm just going to switch to movement uh, by hitting the W key, or you can hit this button over here. And I'm going to hold down V to make sure that I'm snapping to points. And I'm just going to uh, uh, middle click and wiggle the mouse around this locator here. And I'm going to do this uh, again for this corner, and do it again for this corner and finally do it again for this corner and I'm doing it blind but I know it's around there so there we go and if we go back to our um, RZ camera you can see that we now have this polygon uh, more or less over this door now so I'll just um, I'll just scrub the playhead and you can see that the uh, the polygon does line up uh, fairly well with that with that door so just uh, going back to the perspective camera, uh, I can see that I have the other um, uh, the other locators here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to duplicate this um, door panel, and I'm going to move it over to here. And you can already see that there is a slight issue. There's a slight problem because I'm moving it along the z-axis. And you can see that we're not quite on the same level as we were with these points. So uh, at any rate, I'm just going to um, duplicate what I did before. I'm going to, um, holding down V to snap to these locators. And uh, I've accidentally um, got that uh, selected. I just control clicked in the middle there because I had one axis selected. So now I'm just going to um, V and uh, middle mouse click around these points here. And for this last point, uh, I'm going to select one axis, uh, hold down V, and I'm just going to uh, click around on this corner here. And I can select this axis, hold down V, and click around this corner here. Now I can already see that the um, that doesn't result in a very regular shape. And uh, uh, I might just 
um, for this last axis I'll just hold down V and click there even though it was more or less in the, in the right place but what I'll do is I'll go back to our RZ camera and uh, if we um, if we walk through to this point we can see that the uh, the point is uh, in the wrong place if we just move this up and uh, move it over just a little bit we can sort of uh, place this uh, a little bit better and now if we move this playhead around you can see that that more or less lines up with those doors now if our coordinate system is correct and we already know that there are problems with it but if our coordinate system was correct and uh, was lined up perfectly um, these doors would be uh, parallel to one another and um, the right angles here would be uh, pointing more or less off into the uh, into the right axis down the z-axis up and down in the y-axis so uh, let's just have a look and see how we went so I'm going to go back to the perspective camera I'm just going to um, first I'll go back to um, object mode and I'm doing I'm going to shift select this door here. Uh, now if I tap the space bar and then I'll go into this side view and I'm just going to press I'm just going to um, hit the F key to frame up and we can see that there are definite issues here. Uh, rather than being uh, flat with the ground plane you can see that we do angle up fairly severely here. Uh, these aren't quite right angles and it's um, it's resulting in this sort of fairly askew um, looking um, uh, set of doors here. And in fact if we go into the we go into the front view and we'll again frame up uh, we can see that they are more or less along the same lines in the X axis so the X axis doesn't seem to be a problem neither does uh, the y-axis quite so much but this um, uh, this z-axis definitely seems to be going up and off at this angle here uh, and in fact our, our z-axis isn't uh, our y-axis isn't quite straight either so um, with this um, with these problems we realize that we we do have some things that we need to fix up so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back into Match Mover and uh, all of the things that I um, told you that we could do if we wanted to go overboard or if we wanted to go crazy with our with our relation um, uh, measurements um, I'm actually going to do all of those things in order to try and fix up our coordinate system. Okay so um, here we are back in Match Mover this is uh, basically the state of things before we um, exported and um, the this particular sort of um, strange um, angles on, on this um, rectangle here um, remember I, I didn't know quite why it was uh, this shape well now we know it's because the the actual angles that we had set up uh, weren't correct uh, if they are correct this rectangle should in fact overlap with these doors quite snugly it should be uh, a pretty good fit and should um, should line up with the axis of our uh, scene uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down to relations and I'm going to start adding in those relations that I was talking about before uh, so the first thing is I'll just click on a new relation and um, let's see what uh, tracks we have. We've got track 8, 1 and 3. So uh, what I want these to be, and it's important that you select the type before you select the actual points, is I want these to be at the same height, uh, so at the same value in Y. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select share, share Y and um, the points were 8, 1 and 3. So uh, there's point 1, there's point 3 and there's point 8. And I'm just going to move those over like that. And that looks very strange. And uh, that's an example of me trying to use the Maya shortcuts. 
Okay. Um, let's do another one of those. And this time we'll use these bottom points. So 9, 2, 10, and 5. So again, it's Y. So 2, 5, two, five 9, and 10. And we will move those in. And what I might do in order to try and uh, fix these up a little bit is I'm just going to solve for camera again. You can see it doesn't take that much time. And we have a slightly different um, slightly different setup now to what we had before. Now this is what I was wa warning you about before is is the way that the um, the camera seems to be sort of moving around pretty badly here. Uh, but we'll continue to add uh, relations and see if we can't fix this up. So the next relation that I want to add is one with a share Z and I'm going to add track 3 and track 5. So 3 and 5 there and I'm going to add another relation and this is also going to be a share Z and I'm going to make this track 1 and 2 and I'm going to add one last share Z and that's going to be tracks 8 and 9 and there we go and if we solve for camera now things are looking a lot better you can see that our rectangle is now lining up very closely see the reason that I avoided doing all that before is that I only did these um, share Y before and it seemed to uh, give us tracking errors and tracking problems uh, but once we add in all of those relations you can see that we have a very nice very close to the um, uh, to the background scene uh, track set up and um, in fact I think that's just about all that we can do all that we need to do and if I wanted to um, track 7 could also be on uh, this track here and I'll just add that in and we'll just uh, do one last solve and the reason for adding that track in is even though it goes off screen a little bit um, at the start we have uh, quite a nice long line here which should give us um, a better uh, a better calculation of this actual um, axis uh, because we have a larger area that we're sampling and so with that done I'm just going to export again and uh, see how we look in Maya now. So come up to File and uh, I'll also save as an incremental save. And yep, and let's export. Now uh, the export will be, um, we'll make it three all right and all of these settings are still correct and so we can just save that now and now um, we're going to have a look at uh, the new setup in uh, Maya okay so here it is the uh, newly exported scene uh, now we've only got 20 seconds so all I'm going to do is I'm just going to select these points I'm going to go back to perspective I'm going to hit spacebar, hit the side points here, and I'm just going to frame these up. And you can now see that these points are now lined up perfectly. 
and so everything is fixed up. 